What's up, everybody? Moto Jimbo here. Um, <clears throat> tonight I want to do a review of my SJ1000 Action Cam. Um, as you know, I upgraded recently, and I'm not going to be using this camera uh, for uh, moto vlogging anymore, uh, except for maybe like places I don't really want to put my uh, GoPro. Like if I just want to put it in some crazy place where it may fall off, I that's where I'll put it but uh other than that I'm not going to be using this camera much for any more uh moto vlogging um <clears throat> uh quickly uh the pros of the camera are uh it does have decent video quality uh for what it is and for the price I paid for it I believe they're around sixty dollars and that includes uh this case waterproof case and a bunch of mounts um the sound, it's okay, not the greatest in the world, and even the video, you know, it is 1080p, but it's not 60 frames, and the color is a little bit drab in it, in my opinion, um, but for 60 bucks, it's, it's kind of hard to complain about that. Um, now, I have used it for a lot of things, like shooting guns and things like that, and it works just fine, uh, but as far as moto vlogging, um, I could never get it to be stable enough to get a clean shot without being shaky unless I use my chest strap that I made. And that just really limits what I could show you guys. And it it was just really annoying. <clears throat> I really wanted it on my helmet, but I could never get the shaking to stop with the mounts that it had. Uh, and that's a huge downfall of this camera. The mounts included with it, I don't even have half of them anymore. I misplaced them. But... 75% of them are crap. Like, I can't figure out a purpose for some of them. It's like they just had little plastic pieces laying around the factory, and I'll throw that in there. Um, even the uh, little suction mount for a windshield didn't work that great, to be honest. Uh, this case does uh, do its job. I've had it in water, not real deep, but it did keep keep the water out to, you know, small depths. So I can't complain about that. But it, it's kind of heavy, too, which is, uh, I didn't realize how heavy it was compared to a GoPro, but it is. Uh, upside, it does have an LCD screen. Uh, you can see uh, <clears throat> what you're doing there, kind of where your camera is pointed. And you can also review footage that you've already uh, recorded. But uh, that was a pretty cool feature. Uh, batteries are another big thing on this camera. The one I got with it was pretty much dead when I got it. Uh, I ordered another one, and it was fine. Battery life, it's okay. Maybe You might get an hour out of it. Um, and as you can see, I've got my battery door taped because the latch mechanism on this door is terrible. It, it just would not stay closed. But uh, like I said, pros, good video for the price. Uh, decent sound for the price um, and it's okay for certain situations like I said but uh, mounting at the helmets and vehicles and stuff it's going to be so shaky um, at least in my experience it's not even really worth bothering with it um, but I'd recommend that if you're just looking to see if you're going to be into even having an action cam and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a GoPro or you don't want to buy the original GoPro and have terrible video quality, um, it's pretty good. But